this video, we're going to look at the really concerning claim that blending fruit causes four times the rate of blood sugar increase. Now, we know that chronically elevated blood sugar over a long period of time can cause a myriad of health problems and even damage to organs. So I wanted to investigate this thoroughly. Let's first take a look at a video and then we'll come back and look at a fascinating study. We'll then hear from Dr. Michael Greger, who highlights something pretty remarkable I had never heard about before when it comes to blending fruit. I don't blend fruits because you'll quadruple the glycemic profile. I mean, the difference between a banana that you eat and a banana you put in the blender is night and day. What? Four times the rate of blood sugar increase. By putting a banana in a blender? Putting any fruit in a blender. Why? Because you, first of all, you dis, you disperse the, the fiber that's in the fruit. So if you take a banana and you puree it and then you mix it with milk or uh, nut milk or something like that, you're basically quadrupling its impact on blood sugar. The rate, the glycemic index, which is the rate at which blood sugar rises. And the truth is, blood sugar is the root of all evil. Yeah. It really is. So obviously, this was really worrying to hear. But is this actually backed up by scientific research? Well, this study, whilst a small study, took 20 healthy college students and tested what happens to their blood sugar when they compared whole blackberries and whole apples versus blending them. Well, the researchers found that blending the fruit led to a 15-point reduction in blood sugar response compared to consuming the whole fruit. But what about the claim that dispersing the fibre increases blood sugar? Well, funnily enough, the scientists think that actually this is the very reason why it lowers your blood sugar. It's this dispersion of the dietary fibre from the seeds around the drink. But as I said at the beginning, it's chronic elevation that's the problem, not transient rises in blood sugar when you eat or drink something. But this is only one study. So what did Dr Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org have to say? The only reason that you have a higher blood sugar spike so we don't want to drink fruit juice, right? We want to have whole foods. So, you know, you just drink juice, you throw away all the fiber. But smoothies, right, you blend it all together so you have a whole food, all right? But the reason that you have a higher sugar spike in your bloodstream drinking a smoothie than just actually eating all the fruit like in a bowl is not because of the, the liquid versus solid. It's the speed of consumption, right? If you have a big bowl of fruit, if you had a green smoothie, like with all the kale and all that, right? How long would it would take you like a while to chew through it, to get through that, right? But a smoothie, you pop a straw in. I mean, you could suck it down in like 60 seconds, right? And so that's the only difference. So you just sip your smoothie. Like, how long would it take me to this eat much fruit smoothie? Like, 20 minutes. Okay, well, I will sip this smoothie over the next 20 minutes. And that's what you do. And then the same blood sugar. And you actually absorb more nutrition because you can never chew that good. And you're blending up all the open up, breaking all those cell walls, getting all that wonderful nutrition in your body. So now you say, wait a second. Why should I care about fiber? I'm vegetarian. I'm vegan. Like, I can drink juice. I don't, look, fiber, that's the last thing I need. What you're missing out on is that many of the polyphenol phytonutrients, these are among the most important components of plant foods. Most estimates up to 80% of these polyphenols are actually attached to the fiber. And so when you juice a carrot or something, throw away the pulp, you're throwing away all those polyphenol phytonutrients that are attached to the fiber. You say, well, wait a second, if they're attached to the fiber, what good are they to us? Ah, it's our good bacteria. When that fiber gets down to our gut, our gut bacteria and our colon eat the fiber and release the polyphenols that get absorbed into our system, circulates through our body, gets up to our brain, helps our eyesight, all those sorts of other things. And so you're missing out all that nutrition that's attached to the fiber when you uh, throw it. Now, if you juice your carrot and then take the pulp, put it back in the juice, fine. Make carrot cake something. Just don't throw it away. Now, there is actually one fruit we should never put in smoothies, and that's banana. But this has nothing to do with blood sugar problems. We'll discover the reason why next. <laughs> 